What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction and Gig Academy on all social media platforms. He's got his headphones on, so, you know, I can say anything and he's not hearing crap. He's not hearing anything, so it's all good. And, of course, there's my lovely brides. <laughs> Getting a little creepy now, right? <laughs> anyway. We are rolling right on back home. I can't wait. We got to uh, get our stuff together for the trip this weekend, and uh, we'll be headed for Dallas. I'm going back to Dallas, to Dallas, to Dallas. I'm going back to Dallas. Did they, L and Cool J got something to worry about? Probably not. So, our Cowboys are on the field today, and probably <coughs> the best news the best news out there right now and maybe this will be a case where the Cowboys under promised and over delivered see this beautiful lady right here this beautiful lady right here she just looked at me and smiled <laughs> she was like what that's one of those things that she always says Mark your problem is is you over promise and you make promises that are just too big to even keep up with so she always says let's see under promise, over deliver. So that's what a smart woman will tell you. That's why you have to have a strong black woman to keep you keep you in line. Um, Michael Gallup, you know, the Cowboys are always over promising on injuries. Lavelle Gallimore, hypersensitive elbow. Oh, he missed three games. Dude missed 12. Um, Demarcus Lawrence, you know, oh yeah, you know, he waited to get his shoulder done because we screwed up the contract. He'll be ready to start the season. Yeah, he was ready, but the shoulder wasn't, and the season was lost. And so they always overpromise on guys. Now, maybe, just maybe, this is a case where they underpromise because they were saying, you know, week three. And see, what I started saying is if they're saying maybe by week three, I'm saying half the season because that's usually how it works out with them. However, in OTAs today, and of course the other OTA workouts, we already saw him working out on the bands and stuff, which is great coming back from the ACL surgery and stuff, but we're actually seeing him doing side-to-side -side motion without a knee brace, and this is huge. He may actually be ahead of schedule, and this may be one of those cases where the Cowboys, you know, tell them, oh, we're, we're not going to have Michael Gallup to start the season, you know. We're, you know, we're, we're, we, we, we just hope that he'll be ready by week three. And all of a sudden, bam! Just like that, he's ready to go. Gotcha, didn't I? So, let's keep our fingers crossed that there's no setbacks and that everything goes well. One thing I do like um, hearing, now again, we're talking about OTA practices. This is live, okay? It's not full contact. You know, people aren't tackling and they don't tackle anymore. But as far as Dak Prescott, him, as well as, you know, getting to his receivers and getting the reads and everything else, we've been hearing all positive stuff about him. We haven't heard about, you know, interceptions except for Cooper Rush to the one to Marquez Bell. We seem to be on the same page, and even with a James Washington and stuff, it seems to be like they're all working together really well. Unlike what they've heard say with some of the other teams, you know, uh, Daniel Jones has finally been cleared from the, the neck surgery. I didn't know he had neck surgery. Go figure. Um, you heard about Carson Wentz. They said yesterday was basically bad. Threw a couple of picks overthrew some people, guys ran into each other because the passes were so bad uh, that they were fighting for the interception. And then there's Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. You know, I'm thinking about doing something. I'm thinking about doing something that I don't know. See, Jalen Hurts last year, I got the Joe Barty side for Philly 500. Miles Sanders and Jalen Hurts. I was thinking of the print of Micah Parsons sacking Jalen Hurts. Getting Hurts to sign that. I wonder if he'd sign it. Okay, that might be crossing the line. That that just might be crossing the line. But anyway, 
he'll be at the autograph signing show in a couple weeks, as well as Micah Parsons. So, um, there's that. But Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown, their big prize, the guy that they signed that said that makes them, you know, pass the Cowboys, that they've done all these great things in free agency. Seems like they're having a little bit of problems hooking up, even though they were best friends. Hmm. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. It's going to get interesting. But I'm excited that my, that uh, Michael Gallup is getting healthy, getting back on the road to recovery. And who knows where he'll be come week one. I'm Mark Holmes. And we'll, <clears throat> we'll do a live stream sometime this evening because i got to make up for yesterday. Because <clears throat> we got to do not one giveaway, but two. Because I forgot to bring the hopper with all the names in it. So as a thank you for everybody who has helped out us for the GoFundMe and this trip. And there's too many people to me. I mean, seriously, a lot of you to thank. And I appreciate that. And I'm sure Stuart is looking down and happy that we're coming down to take care of him. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Peace.